is that this is how we this is how we sell real estate, and that is lane one. All right, so this metaphor actually has two more lanes that you guys aren't used to, and I'm aware of that. So we're going to slow it down for the last 10 minutes of the presentation and introduce some new ideas for you guys. Lane two is understanding how we operate as a company. We are not a franchise. We are shareholders. This is our company, majority owned by the real estate agents, and we get stock at this company five ways, and we're going to show you what those five ways look like and how this company doesn't have territories or geography or antiquated expenses or limitations or all these middle management people involved. We don't have any recruiters. We don't have any you know, human resources department. This is a grassroots platform that independent brokerage owners, team leaders, solo agents, new agents plug their business into, and they maintain their autonomy and power with all this cool stuff that would take us lifetimes to, to iterate. Okay, so that's lane two. Now, what's cool about Lane 2, guys, is that it's, you know, you're going to get awards here, but you're also going to get stock, whether you like it or not. And it's called EXPI. I stands for international. We just went out uh, with all of our earnings. Again, we're traded on the NASDAQ, so you can type in uh, uh, the awesome results that we had on that or look me up on Facebook. I'm a, I'm a public profile. You could, I posted the link on there. Awesome. The stock was trading at $0.15 cents a share six years ago. And we're trading at almost $15 a share after the split. And we actually just paid a 45 cent dividend on all of our stocks. So we have a lot of wealthy people that accrued this stock over the last, you know, 2009 till now. So, you know, last 12, 13 years this is a transformational like safety net for you. But here's the last part. And for most of you guys, you can cut out here. Okay. But lane three is revenue share. And what that means is that the company takes 50% of the gross revenue that it makes and they take their 50% and they pay all their bills and they run on between like a 3 to 7% margin. Pretty cool. The other 50%, they give it back to us. And we call that lane two, which is stock. And lane three, which is to be able to build your organization virtually and have EXP cover the liability, all of the other stuff that none of us want to get into. Okay? And that's how you can expand your team. So I came up with a team of three called the Lake Crew out here in Lake Norman. And now I have 2,114 agents in 15 countries that are all part of my organization. And I did that for a $150 signup fee, no training, just a platform that is able to compound and expand. So we'll spend the last little bit on that. Some of you guys are going to really need an extra cup of coffee right at the 30-minute mark, okay? Um, you can plug out, <laughs> unplug after lane two if you want. I'll give you a heads up. You'll see another screen like this. But for those of you guys that are really entrepreneurial, for those of you guys that like residual income, for those of you guys that are magnets and influencers and you know social butterflies and have long, rich relationships and careers, Lane 3 is transformational, not only for yourself, but for the people that end up partnering with you. And then it's generational. So your kids and their kids, it's all inheritable. So we're going to cover all that. Okay, so enough of the white noise. That's basically what's on the docket today. So let's get right into why a virtual real estate company is so crazy, right? We were even so crazy before COVID. Once COVID came out, everyone was like, oh, EXP is built for this. I get it. So we watched Netflix miss the bucket, you know, miss the boat. I mean, they had an opportunity to buy, the Blockbuster had an opportunity to buy Netflix. They didn't see the advanced vision that we'd be streaming things. They didn't value or understand how technology is transforming everything that we do. And Netflix put Blockbuster out of business. And we're now we're all streaming on Netflix. Everyone's got a Netflix account on their phone, their iPad, their laptop, or their TV at the house. Pretty crazy, right? We watched Circuit City and Macy's and Sears and all these places that I grew up on pretty much either go out of business or, or go on life support financially. Amazon disrupted everything. Even Amazon disrupted the way things are delivered. They don't use UPS or FedEx, right? We're streaming our, we're buying stuff on Amazon. The Amazon trucks on my street all day long right? We're getting our movies and our entertainment on Amazon, right? We're getting our music on iTunes. We're not going to the record store. We're going on vacations and we're going on Expedia and getting our hotel and our flights all combined into one, right? Some of you guys are dating online. Anybody raise your hand if you're dating online? No one's ever admitted that on a call, right? Uh, uh, most marriages come from online dating. You guys are checking your banking online. You're depositing your checks. You're, everything's getting wired. Everything is online, right? You know, grandma knows what you're doing because she's on Facebook, maybe more than you are, right? Instagram is where you're seeing what your friends are into, or at least what they're promoting they're into, right? The whole landscape of how we behave as a society has changed because of technology advancements, right? So why 
are traditional real estate brokerages still in business? Well, they've done a very good job the last 50 years. They built a brand and we have helped build their asset, right? We are, we've been renting. I rented my career for 20 years before I came to eXp because I never had an equity stake in the company. So I'd leave with my personal belongings and my book of business and I would go to another brokerage, which would potentially offer me something more. Right. So it's like we're telling people not to rent houses, but we're renting our careers and we all got used to it. The other thing is, is that we weren't as knowledgeable by people like Gary Vee on the fact that your brand is the most important thing because the seller or the buyer hires you. So if the company was like an equalizer, all the agents would be doing the same amount of business at all of these companies. And they're not including EXP. Right. So you are the brand. Your business is important and we can expand and we do it virtually at EXP. So it's a hybrid model of being in person. I'm sitting at my office and having a virtual campus where we have 2,000 employees supporting you live all day long. I have eight state brokers in North Carolina that I can talk to live. And we're going to show you what that looks like, what it sounds like, and what's there for you uh, on your phone app or, or on your Bluetooth or on your laptop. Totally cool. All right. So let's just go through a timeline of what this company started as, which was a really cool idea, and, and what it is now. And this slide's dated because our company just grows. We're the fastest growing real estate brokerage, not only in the history of the United States, but now that's also true in the UK. It's true in India. It's true in Mexico. And I think we're in 22 countries right now. So this story is starting to compound. In 2009, Glenn Sanford was a real estate agent. The only big brokerage that started from a person that sold real estate. $60 million a year he was doing it. And he was doing it off SEO because he's a real tech guy. And he went to Keller Williams, who he's working with, and said, hey, guys, I feel like there's a unilateral relationship going on. I'm going out there extracting all this business, spending all my money, educating myself, figuring out how to use a net to catch fish versus just the hook, right? And I'm bringing it all back to you guys, and you guys just keep taking and taking, and I don't see any value back. So they were like, great. This is our model. Like it or don't like it. So he pulled away and he started the first virtual real estate company because if we had a virtual real estate company, it could be at our fingertips with the internet and we could grow in a way that was historical. And most importantly, we could shed a lot of the expenses of having franchises and big brick and mortar offices and market center owners or all these franchise owners. We could get rid of all of that and give the agents the ownership because we know that it's you guys that make the brokerage, right? So we understood that fundamentally in the beginning. Plus, we could be transparently performing by making you guys shareholders and getting listed with the NASDAQ. So that was the overall concept. In 2010, he had succeeded in getting 11 states opened up at EXP. We had about 15 paid employees at the time versus almost 2,000 right now. Swanpole recognized the EXP as an up-and-coming company in 11 and recognized Glenn as a, as, as, a, as a force to be reckoned with, as a brokerage owner. In 2013, we did a reverse merger into another company and became publicly traded on the pink sheets, right? The, the over-the-counter stock. So at 2013, everybody that was with the company prior to 13 and everybody that's with the company forever have now become shareholders of the company. It's partially your company and you will get more and more shares the longer that you're here or the more real estate activities you do. We'll get into that. In 2014, we launched in Canada. So, you know, I'm not proud of saying it, but we started calling ourselves international because we launched in Canada. But in 2015, we were sitting there six years later with about 500 agents and about 25 employees. And we were thinking, man, this is such a cool concept. Everybody here is so bought in. Why are the brokerage owners not coming over here? Why are the top teams in the country not coming over here? So Glenn iterated two new components of the model that has transformed who we are as a company. First thing, he wanted to make sure everybody would rise with the tide, right? So he created the agent equity program where every single agent could take 5% of their commissions and get the stock at a 10% discount and sell it right away or keep it long-term, totally up to you. So that was a very cool little way to get an ROI of 10% on, on a publicly traded company every single time you had a transaction. Opt-in, opt-out, no cost change your mind, whatever. It's fine. Right now, the other thing that actually brought over all of these monster teams that we have, we have like, I think we have like six teams that are in the top 20 in the country here at EXP, right? Uh, uh, Veronica Figaro and Andrew Franklin, these guys are doing, you know, 2,500 sides a year, right? So the EXP said, listen, for all of you high achievers, if you're doing $500,000 of GCI, gross commission income, if you don't know what GCI is, if you're doing $500,000 of GCI, or you're doing roughly around 27 to 30 deals a year, 
we're going to allow you to become an icon agent because of your performance. And we're going to gift you all the commission that you paid in that year back in stock. So if you go back five years ago, if I iconed the last five years, which I, I would have iconed if I still had stayed in production, uh, my job has changed and you'll understand why as we go on, right? But in the last five years, if I was doing the same volume, I did 43 million in 2017, $405,000 GCI. The amount of transactions that I was doing in North Carolina, because it's not LA, so our price range was about 250,000 at the time, um, I iconed. And if I would have done that the last five years at EXP, that's about $481,000 of gifted stock at today's price. Interesting fact, right? So the Icon uh, Award allowed agents to come over here and experience a 100% model without the limitations of what a 100% model offers. A lot of 100% models are just really basically hidden title companies that want you to do all this affiliate business because that's where they make money, like McDonald's on the French fries, right? So 2015, those two things happened. What happened? 2016, we checked the temperature. We were at 1,500 agents. We tripled an agent count. It's working. In 2017, I joined EXP. Nobody even said, oh, wow, like, except my wife, right? In 2018, we became Glassdoor's uh, one of their best places to work, and that has continued ever since. Uh, Glenn won award winner for broker owner, and EXP rang the bell on Times Square, and we became publicly traded uh, uh, and listed on the NASDAQ. We were publicly traded in 2013. So we've had a lot of growth here in the 13 year lifeline of this company. And when you see how we continue to grow in transactions, I think we're number four in the country. We'll be number one in agent population count and in production in probably 24, 36 months. And that's being really conservative. Uh, the whole idea is that we've had a hockey stick of agent count, right? We have just grown and grown and our revenue is tied to our agents, right? So in 2015, we had 500 agents. And EXP implemented those two new things I talked about. Well, in 2016, we ended up at 1,500 agents. By the end of 2017, we were about 6,000 agents. 2018, almost 17, 18,000 agents. By the end of 2019, we were about 25,000 agents. Then 2020 comes along. Every real estate company and everything that we know closes down in March. The whole world shuts down. EXP almost doubles their agent count. We were built for this, all right? So we closed out around... Uh, about 35, 36,000 agents at the end of 2020. Right now, we're at almost 84,000 agents. 72,000 of them are in the United States. The other 10,000 plus are in all these countries that we expanded to. So five years ago, when I signed up for EXP, five years tomorrow, so tonight I was doing the application, right? Uh, five years ago, we were in like 32 states. Now we're in 22 countries, we're, we're on target, on average, opening 10 countries a year. What does that mean to you guys? Well, I don't know. I sell real estate in Minnesota. Well, that means that when you meet the next real estate agent with the UK, they can come partner with you and they can bring over all their friends in the UK. That happened to me. I brought over Barry Pulver, nice British guy that lives 10 minutes away from me, sold four or five houses a year, not a big producer, but a, but a big hearted guy, a smart guy. He came over here and he brought 303 of his estate agent friends through Adam Day at the UK. We were the first people to grow internationally across the Atlantic, right? So that is all possible here. Your relational equity can compound and you can work with anyone you want, not whoever chose those people in the office that you decided to sign up with, okay? So if you are if you have your own brokerage, and please don't think that I'm being pessimistic about this because we know what the blind spots are because we all experience this, right? What happens in like the book, The E-Myth, is you're the technician and you become so good at selling real estate, people are like, oh, you should be a team leader. Okay, I can leverage myself better, right? That's why I'm a listing agent. So then you become a team leader and you realize, wow, I'm not really in love with managing and none of these people were as good in the field as I was and the ones that are can't stay with me because they won't work for 50 or 60 or 70%, right? So you have a problem and you have a retention problem. And then some of those people that can figure out that, that with a lot of chalkboard and chalk <laughs> turn into business owners and they experience this costly overhead or they have to pay for a franchise and they charge their agents desk fees. And they're locally confined and they got to hire somebody super talented and growing agents, right? Sometimes they have broker and charges that are selling more real estate than the agents. They have all these different conflicts going on, inconsistent growth incentives. You can't even grow your company more than the distance that somebody would drive to your office, right? You have limited technology and support where we have zero debt at this company and we spent billions of dollars on our infrastructure. Actually, our cloud campus, which we own the company that built it, Mirabella, we bought them for $10 million about a year after I came over. They actually housed the Department of Defense as their online office. 
Stanford University uses our technology for their college kids to show up uh, and take their classes, right? So we own it, we iterate it, and we're constantly doing so. So the EXP environment is totally cloud-based and locally based in our groups. We have no desk fees work from anywhere. We're in 463 MLSs. Geographically, we're the largest real estate company that's ever occupied space in North Carolina. I mean, North Carolina, the USA. In North Carolina, we have 5,000 agents. When I came over, we had 45 right? We have live training. We have 50 to 100 hours of live training that goes on every single week. And guess who teaches this? Not Cindy, who has a love for students and teaching and, you know, has a big heart for the agents. It's the icon agents, the ones that are making a half million a year, the agents that are doing 300 transactions every quarter. These are our teachers and it's totally free and it's always morphing into what is next versus writing a seller or a FISBO seven letters in the mail. Like some of this training that we're getting that I used to get was like, oh my God, has nothing changed in 30 years, right? Real time support. If you have a problem, your computer's not working. We fix that for free. You need to talk to your state broker or multiple state brokers or a broker in another state. You need to talk to accounting. You need to talk to transactions. You need to do anything. You go right into the world. We'll show you what that looks like and you get real time support and you're on to the next income producing activity. International collaboration, your team now can go anywhere in 22 countries and that number is gonna to continue to improve. And then lastly, powerful equity opportunities, right? I mean, you're not renting your career anymore. You're gonna earn stock at a company that is far more sellable than your own LLC. And then if you bring over agents, EXP is gonna give you a little micro dosage of their commission that EXP collects, not out of their share, but out of EXP side. And that can add up if these agents can grow and they can do the same thing. And we can start building sort of a safety net for this tightrope that we're doing, which is my pipeline is directly related to my blood pressure. We know what that looks like. Okay. So let's get into production because let's keep that blood pressure nice and low. Right. So there's two things that productive real estate agents do well or don't do well. One is that they continue to learn and pick up tricks by other people in other markets that do things well. Most of the time for you guys not at EXP, you have to go pay for a mastermind or a coach or, or, or plug into YouTube or do something like that. Go fly out somewhere, go to these conventions, right? At EXP, we're the only collaborative model that ever existed. Everything's free. We do it all here and it's all accessible, not only live, but through the world, right? So our training is unbelievable. You could become an expert in personalities, in geo farming, in traditional farming, in sales funnels, in every in team structures, in how to use social media. I mean, we have the biggest YouTubers and Instagram people on the planet. We have Grant Cardone and his wife Elena Cardone building out at EXP. All the Grant Cardone stuff is available. We have everything here because people that think like us find this to be a refreshing place to make a final stop at, right? This is an interesting company. It's a platform. Your business is your business. You just plug it into here. Learn from the industry experts. Sunday night, you're going to get an email that looks just like this. It's going to show you the whole weekly training calendar. If you delete it or you don't look at it, no big deal. You just take your little avatar. You go into the live world, which we're going to show you. And then you look right behind you and it shows you the day's courses. Now, if you miss that course or that class that you really wanted to see, don't worry about it. We have 40,000 plus hours in our library. So you can watch it on the repeat. It's no big deal. Okay. So our live training is unbelievable. Again, only our icon agents are teaching these classes. So our top producing agents are showing you what a digital listing presentation looks like. They're showing you how to use AI and predictive behavior and the tools that we, we source out to you. These are the people that have mastery and top 1% success in the market that are your teachers. It's totally different than what we're used to. Again, real-time support. So our avatars sound just like us. So my avatar is my voice. But my avatar looks much better than I do. Always shaves, has gray hair, because I wanted to be honest. Is about 10 pounds lighter than I am, which is where I always aim to be and never seem to achieve. And I can wake up with my boys playing around and stabbing me with swords. And I can drink my coffee and my wife's, you know, uh, 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 having a cup of coffee next to me. And I'm in the virtual world listening to my sales meetings. I'm on my phone app, in my car on Bluetooth. I'm getting live support. And despite that I look like I should get ready for work, my avatar is perfect. 
I don't have to go fly out to the UK and meet with my team out there. I just go to one of these team collaboration rooms and save myself the jet lag and the $3,000 flight and missing my family and all of that other stuff. We can collaborate in ways that no one has ever been able to introduce to us as an option. This is the cloud community. All of our large scale meetings look like this. All of our state meetings look like this. All of our information sharing and groups are in these little dotted blue circles that are sound booths. All of our specialized, all of our broker and chargers are all standing there with their avatars live waiting for us to ask them questions, our mentors, right? It's unbelievable. This is a different way of doing business. So at your current business that you're at, you don't have a thing called a dashboard, right? I mean, why would you have a dashboard? The owner of your company has a dashboard. They're checking all their transactions. Their bookkeepers using it, right? We're all using something like that. Mint, QuickBooks, they have all of that combined in some kind of software. Here, you're the broker owner. It's your company, your logo, your niche in the business. You're the entrepreneur. That's why you got in this business to be a 1099. You have your own dashboard. And it gives you everything you can imagine, anywhere between the 5,000 marketing materials that are already pre-arranged, all the merchandising, letterhead, bro brochures, postcards, funny social media memes, everything you can imagine. It links into your Twitter. It links into your Facebook. It links into your workplace. Don't worry if you don't know what workplace is. There's a slide for it. We'll cover it. But most importantly, right, eight, we have 83,000 agents that are shareholders that are giving deals to each other through this medium. And if you click on your profile and you explain your expertise, we have more business going on inside this company than any other company has ever had. And it's going from agent to agent based on whatever referral agreements you guys decide. No middleman, no management on that, okay? Now, there's a button called finance. <sighs> Take a breath, guys. Don't start sweating. This is a good button. When you click finance, you can see all the shares of stock that EXP has gifted you in your period here. Now, I've never, I've never been the number one producer in my market. I've always been number two or number three. I don't know what it is. Maybe it was just a lack of ambition. But it, I was always good enough to get in the top group, but I was never number one, right? I've received over 19,000 shares of stock at EXP in the last five years, and I stopped selling two and a half years ago. This is a place where you accumulate shares and shares and shares, and then they gift you back your entire commission part uh, uh, that you paid in for those of you guys that are overachievers. And if you're not an overachiever, with our sources, we could show you how to raise your transactions if that's even within the scope of what you want to do. Now, we could check all of our stock on that. Super cool. It's real time. Uh, E-Trade uh, is the holding company. They, they handle the whole thing. But what's also cool is I can see what all 2,100 plus of the agents of my organization are closing. I could see where they're closing it, where they follow my organization, what the transaction address was, what was the total commission, what part was paid to me, who's had a deal recently, who's an icon agent. All of this stuff, all of this data is accessible to me. So when I click on that, I can see the entire health of my entire organization or just my own transactions, if that's what your scope is. I think 88% uh, of EXP agents don't even participate in growing the company. So I'm talking to a very small few, but even in your own real estate team, say I have four people on my real estate team, I can see all their transactions. It's just, it's so simple, so easy, so fast. You really have a much better idea of what's going on in your business. So what we use for all of us here is instead of using Dotloop or any of these other infrastructure uh, document sources, right? Our software is SkySlope. And you get your digital signatures, your 24-7 support, even have support in the world, and they have their own customer service 24-7. It's highly secure. And I we upload all of our forms in there. And we have a broker that actually reviews all of our forms to make sure that you're not missing an important signature or there's nothing that's going to put you in real estate jail uh, because of an oversight. Pretty simple. It's on a mobile app. It's easy. It actually makes us totally paperless. So Skyscope's really cool. If you've used uh, Dot Loop or one of these type of systems in, in before, you'll have this probably figured out in about five minutes. Very, very cool setup. Now, remember I, I mentioned that other medium that we use for EXP announcements, for referrals, for collaboration, for all the stuff that we do, right? It's called Workplace. And Mark Zuckerberg created a Facebook for professionals, and we ended up just being his largest user because we just kept growing. When we first started at Workplace, we were one of the many companies using Workplace because, you know, we all know that adults don't like learning curves. So this was easy. You don't know use Facebook already. Just use this, right? And it was able to house us and it was able to allow us to grow because we know many people are on Facebook and we had big aspirations. Well, now we have 83,000 international people using Workplace, and we have all of these little groups. So like I have a group called EXP Family Tree where my team 
has 6,700 of us that are doing an additional 12 hours a week of coaching. And uh, we're, we're collaborating and we're giving referrals. We have referral groups. We have state groups. We have listing groups. We have water chat groups. We have different cultural groups. We have every group that anyone has ever thought up is here in the EXP world. And you can join what you want and not join what you want. But it's all here. And this is the medium that we use to get in touch with our brokers when we don't have time to go into the world or don't have our laptop. We can just go right into our workplace app. Looks just like Facebook. I can work chat a broker. They work chat me live right back. They have work chat on their computers during their working hours, right? And we have so many of them to where we have support constantly. If, if you have done less than three transactions, your mentor will support you through this medium. So you've got the world, which is like your sword, and you got workplace, which is like your shield. And these two things answers everything you could ever imagine. So we have that built into our EXP. If you're not a lead generator in real estate, what ends up happening is it's very hard to stay in business. You might be really good at this. You might care about your clients. You might be trustworthy. You might be knowledgeable. But if nobody knows or experiences that, you have to go find a job or another business. So we understand that's the most important thing. Now, some real estate companies still believe in the fact that they can put an agent on duty sign and get somebody to sit there for free. And then that is going to help with lead generation. We're just not one of those people. Okay. We hooked up with one of the biggest lead generation softwares that have ever existed. Most of the stuff at eXp we own, some of the stuff we just plugged into and got book buys on. If you've ever heard of conversion with a K, they changed their name to KV core about three years ago. You can go sign up right now. If you're at call up anchor or have your own indie or anywhere, Keller Williams, no problem. You could sign up to KV core and it's about six to 800 bucks a month. And it's about 1500 bucks to start up and they have a 24 seven killer customer service department, right? We all get that at no cost here at eXp, right? So we have the most robust version. Now, what this is, is this is the software that's going to build out your contact manager because most of you guys have skipped the most important step there ever was in business, which is keeping contact with all the clients that weren't your favorite, <laughs> right? I mean, using all this AI and this autopilot to constantly bleed custom messages into them by text or email or by bomb bomb or whatever you wanted to, because if you add 5,000 contacts to your network over the course of 23 years, like I've been doing this, you don't ever have to worry about your pipeline. It's always too full. Okay. So we have that component of it, but that's also where you're going to build your free website. And that's also where you can build unlimited splash pages and put them on Facebook or Instagram or wherever you want, Google ads or anything. And you could do a separate splash page on every listing that you have, every type of buyer or seller that you want, every neighborhood you want to highlight. And this is, these are the funnels that we teach you to use with this software built into our EXP model to constantly be adding to your business. This is how you go from selling three or four houses a month to selling 30 or 40 houses a month. Or this is how you go from selling zero houses a month consistently uh, to selling two or three and being able to stay in a business that you really like. Okay, Lead generation is the number one name of the game. So we give you mastery on this and you get your entire KV core uh, lead generation built in. And it does predictive behavior and artificial intelligence that keeps them on your website. Every EXP listing across the country is on your website. This is going to replace Zillow. EXP is going to have every listing on your website. And we're competing with Zillow who uh, you know, just is probably going to suffer like Open Door did. They had their embarrassment last year. But Zillow has been putting us all at jeopardy in this business for a long time. EXP is the only real estate company that's virtual, that's big enough in agent size, that's going to have all their listings and EXP agents are going to be the only ones on there. Not, we're not selling it to competitors. So we are building this all out. This is what it looks like for us down the road, not far down the road. Uh, this is going to be national news. All right. The marketing and branding is simple. If you don't have your own specific, you know, uh, trademark. If you don't have your own specific colors, logos, all that stuff, it looks like this. Just plug and play, drag your photo. You get your thousand business cards when you sign up. You get your listing uh, folders when you get up. You get your ability to have healthcare. You get your workplace. You get your sky slope. You get your KV core. You get uh, the cloud uploaded on your computer. You get uh, all of this stuff going on right away. But you also have all these marketing materials where you could take your logo, your brand, and make that front and center. Okay, so we are not about tattooing our name all over your stuff. It's the minimal requirement that your state has is what eXp is going to ask of you. So your business is brokered by eXp Realty. It is a technology stack 
a personal leadership development company that gives 50% of the gross revenue away and uh, back to us and allows you to plug your business in there and have all of the stuff that would give you brain damage eliminated immediately. For example, liability as a brokerage owner or um, having to uh, 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 create all these systems for your agents or having to figure out how to expand and get into all these MLSs or having to do all the accounting and fix all the technology and having to find somebody to train all your agents and teach them and teach you, right? All of this stuff is just plugged right into EXP, but your logo and everything is front and center. We do not want to mess with that. So let's look at a real quick NAR statistic because these are always fascinating, right? So according to the NAR, a third of us don't have health insurance, but we know that our average realtor is female, right? I mean, I've been doing this for 23 years. Guys are the minority. We know that. And then our average aged, uh, 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 age of an agent is 54 years old, and that's come down a little bit. It's going to continue to come down. So just to generalize this, our wives, our daughters, our moms, our sisters, right? <laughs> our friends, our women out there showing houses to strangers, sometimes at night, and if they got sick, their commissions stop, and they can go into bankruptcy because of health bills, which is the leading cause of bankruptcy there is. We are 1099s, and it's ruthless. And no other real estate company has had a heart for this, and EXP has. So I've been on the EXP healthcare since 2020 when they un, uh, you know, uh, revealed the whole plan of what it looked like. I was on the Blue Cross Blue Shield silver package, so I you know, made a public school choice and just went over to the silver package on EXP, right? Seemed easy. And my $1,550 a month turned into $800 and change a month. All my doctors stayed the same. My insurance card changed. Everything else was almost identical. And our mass household uh, uh, max deductible is $12,500. So in 2019, we paid $31,000 in medical bills between the premium and any deductibles that we were unfortunate enough to have to experience. At EXP in 2020, that entire year, our medical bills were 16000 So this is the first time that you could have your partner or your spouse jump on your health care. It's pretty cool. We've got tens of thousands of us on it. All right, so listen, I don't want you guys to have to go through like a 50-page document to figure out how we pay and what the small print is. You leave EXP at any point, you leave at the commission split that you're, you were at. No little sneaky deals in there where all of a sudden the brokerage has to take 50% of it and remind you that the brokerage owns the listing. None of that. You take the deal, you manage the deal through closing it, it closes out through EXP. You stay at either hundred percent or 80%, depending on where you're at in that year. Okay. Simple as that. If you are a domestic team, which means that you guys live in the same address and you're in love and you're both in real estate, right? So it could be husband, wife, husband, husband could be partners, but you live in the same address. You share a $16,000 cap. Okay. If you sell real estate in Hawaii, Alaska, Florida, and Maine, just to be different, all four of those states, if you have a real estate license in there, they all hang with EXP and they all go toward the same national cap. Can't do that everywhere. Okay. Every single EXP agent is at the same commission split. Oh, well, what about Dorothy? She's the daughter of the brokerage owner. We all know she's at 100%, not at EXP. Glenn Sanford's kids are at 80 20 or 100%. Okay. We are all at 80-20. The 20% goes toward a cap. If you don't know what a cap is, that means you're perpetually paying forever. So like, let me give you a real quick idea what that is. A cap is very much like an insurance deductible. Once the 20% that you pay in hits $16,000 at EXP, which is roughly $2.7 million of business at 3%, then you go to 100% commission. No franchise fee, no market center fee, no desk fees, no nickel dime, no printer fees. It's just 100% commission for the rest of the year. Only when you're at 100% commission, they implement a 250-hour transaction fee because our services don't go down. It's just that our, our revenue goes down, right? We stop making money on you. Pretty cool. For 20 transactions, you get, you get charged $250 every transaction fee. And then on your 20th transaction, if you hit that, you are considered an icon agent and they gift you the $16,000 back in stock unbelievable. Half of it's vested for three years and half of it's immediate. Okay. The $250 transaction fee then reduces the $75 in perpetuity until your anniversary year comes up again. All right. So we have two transaction fees uh, that are in every transaction. There is a $25 broker review fee, no matter if it's your first deal or your hundredth. And there's a $40 E&O insurance uh, fee and that caps out at 500 bucks. So 12 and a half deals into your calendar year, that goes away. 
the $250 transaction fee doesn't even start until you are capped at 100%. Well, Rich, what if I don't cap? It's fine. You're at 80, 20 to wherever you stop. Simple. Okay. If you have a heart for teaching agents and you have a, a passion for raising the bar in the business and for whoever is saying yes internally on that, I have a special affection for you because I was a mentor for years, right? We actually have a mentor program where you earn 10% on the first three uh, uh, transactions of every agent that you teach. And you can have up to 20 agents, but you have to get certified. And it's a cool thing. And the agent can keep you on for as long as they need until they're comfortable. So if you're a new agent, that's really good to have. You have somebody that introduced you to eXp, you have all your state brokers, and you have a mentor that is going to walk through the first three transactions with you. All right? So now if you live in Manhattan and you sell $9 million flats, right, you don't have to do all these transactions. If you have a $500,000 GCI, you also icon and you get the $16,000 back. It's $149 to start up, not $250,000 of franchise fees and flying out to a training seminar with other people that can't infringe on the prop on the zip code that you're in. It's not like that. Anywhere you have a relationship, anywhere that you used to live, anytime you had a brother that loves their real estate agent, you can now do business with them and expand your team. Okay? It's super simple. At some point, we're going to have access to every MLS there is in the country because we're on every one of them. All right? So EXP is growing very, very big. All right, so let's shift, okay? What time is it? I don't have my clock. Okay, it's 10.39. So we're gonna spend two minutes on this slide. These are the five ways that you earn stock at the company. Don't worry about this. It's gonna happen whether you're paying attention or not, but i just rather show you how it works. When you close your first transaction, and that happens every year, you earn $200 of stock on your first transaction. Pretty cool. Now, if you bring over a colleague because you actually wanna surround yourself with people that you like working with, novel idea. When they close their first transaction, they get the 200 bucks just like you did on your first deal, but you also get 400 bucks because they know that at some point during that transaction, they probably leaned on you for a question or two. So we want to reward you for that. We don't want you working in charity. You're a business owner. You should be making money for your expertise, right? Lastly, if you cap, not only do you get 100% commission, but they also gift you $4 of stock when you cap. Pretty simple. Now, again, I touched on the icon. I'm going to touch on it one more time because... It's pretty simple, but you got to hear it twice, okay? Once you get to 100% commission, which is roughly around $2.7 million at 3% commission, and if you have to go down on commission, and I know that you guys are all saying no, but I also know the average commission right now is 2.66%. You don't need permission. We have a minimum, but it's really low, okay? So if you have to go down on commission, it's your decision. We'll try to train you on not to do that, but we're not your boss, right? Then you might do $3 million of business before you cap if you're less than 3%, right? So once you hit 100% commission, they start charging you $250 for the next 20 transactions. And a transaction is defined as a sale, a lease, or a referral. Lots of referrals in workplace. Most of my agents in Charlotte are doing two, $3 million of referrals because Charlotte's such a hotspot for people to move, especially after COVID, right? Um, uh, it could be a lease procurement. <laughs> it could be a transaction, right? Doesn't matter. Once those 20 $250 transaction fees occur, that means that you paid $5,000 of transaction fees plus the $16,000 that you paid in before then. On the 21st deal, you get the $16,000 that you paid in back in stock, gifted back in stock. That's what Icon agents do. And that's why all the biggest teams, all the biggest solo agents, all the biggest franchise owners are coming over to eXp in time. It just keeps happening, happening. Just look at your Facebook. You're probably sick of it. All right, so all of that that I've covered has a three-year vesting period from the date that it was given to you, except for the Icon Award, half of that is immediate. Now, I know what you're thinking, right? Or I suspect what you're thinking, which is what I was. Oh, that sucks. Got to wait three years? Well, thank God, because when I came over, the stock was $2.87, and three years later, it was traded at $150 a share. <laughs> so I would have shorted myself out of uh, being short-sighted hundreds of thousands of dollars. The three-year vesting period is really, really good for us, at least going from today back okay now instant equity is this equity program which is no vesting period you can take five percent of your commission and get the stock at a ten percent discount all right so that's it so for 23 of you guys sorry it's fast but i know your attention spans short because we live in 2022 and i've got add so that is the cliff notes of what we, we didn't talk about the iBuyer setup. I didn't show you what the virtual world looks like loading it up here. I didn't go into the dashboard and show you what all of our cool marketing pieces look like and all of this infrastructure that we have. I didn't get a chance to do all of that because honestly, we'd be here for five hours, right? 
I gave you the overview. Whoever invited you on the call has the time and bandwidth and interest because they're going to do long-term business with you to show you what that looks like. Now, for most of you guys at this next part, you're going to be confused, irritated, have some kind of visceral reaction. I would just ask you to tap into the most amount of attention you could ever imagine and really focus on this because this lane three retired me from selling real estate seven months into EXP. Seven months into EXP, my revenue share was equal to what my sales were after 20 years of selling real estate, being in the top one and a half percent in the country. This is a very interesting, very interesting conversation. Okay. Lane three is called revenue share. Now, revenue share is this confusing chart. I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible because when I saw this, I was like, I'm not interested. All right. So if you add the $16,000 of cap that each EXP agent could pay to EXP, they divvied up that $16,000 into seven compounding residual income layers that you could recapture from this company if you're interested in growing your team organization. Now I say organization because teams have always been thought to uh, Richard Tomasini and, 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 and associates, right? So whoever's on my literal team with my logo here, we have three different kinds of teams for EXP and the three different kinds of teams have the ability for the rainmaker to bring their agents over at a full cap, a half a cap or a quarter cap, depending on if they meet the criteria. So some of our mega teams are bringing agents over at a $4,000 cap for their buyer's agents, which means that we've solved long-term blind spots. You don't ever lose your agents at eXp because they're so good. They graduate and then they build with you, okay? This is how we get compensated on this. So let's make this very, very simple. Every agent that you bring over to eXp directly, the ones that are earning $200 on their stock, they talk to you directly, you're the reason why they understand the model. They sign up underneath you. Every one of those agents, when they close their first deal, you got $400, they got $200, right? Well, every transaction they have from their first deal to where they go to 100% commission, because once they're paying 100% commission, there's nothing to share with us guys, right? But for the 20% period where they're paying 80-20, EXP takes 3.5% of the gross commission. So on a $10,000 transaction, they will wire me $350 as their sponsor for bringing that agent over because they've saved all these other costs on franchises, brick and mortar, all these employees that are scrolling Facebook, all of the stuff that was yesterday. All right. So I get paid three and a half percent of the gross commission on every agent that I bring over. And that is never more complicated than that statement. So as that continues to happen, once they hit a hundred percent commission, that means that I will have earned up to $2,800 on every agent that I brought over to eXp. So I brought over pretty much a colleague in all over the world to this company about a little less than one agent a month in the five years I've been here. And I've earned up to 2,800 hours on every one of those agents. And it and it's not paid yearly, it's paid monthly, and it's totally transparent. I can see everything. And it hasn't ever come out of that agent's commission. It came out of eXp's revenue. Their 20, the 20% 20 that they paid in, it came out of their side, not the 80% the agent took home until they went to 100%. Okay, it's as simple as that. Right now, remember the difference between a level one and two through seven. Level ones are people that you directly brought over. Levels two through seven are other people that came over to EXP underneath you that exercise the same opportunity that you have. So, I brought over Nakia Evans. I'll use her as an example. Nakia's in Baltimore. We could have never worked together at Caldwell Banker, where she was the top recruiter, like third best recruiter in the country, uh, president of the board of realtors in Baltimore, rookie of the year. We could have never worked together because I would never work for Caldwell Banker. And if I did, there would be no impact of having the relationship with Nakia for either of us outside of a personal bond, right? But at eXp, I could call Nakia and say, look, I'm looking for a partner. If you come over here to eXp, I will earn up to $2,800 of, off you. But for what you do, you can do the same thing here. We can build residual income. That's not a salary that stays with us and not the brokerage, right? It's something that we can build out that we can gift in an inheritance. It's different. And we have a whole map to play with, and I'm here for you to help you do that. So I did that 54 times, and I earned up to $2,800 on every agent. But Nakia said, hey, this is great. This is what I do anyway. So she brought over over 100 of her friends in no time. And those, for me, are level twos. For her, they're level ones. But for me, they're level twos, and I earn 
up to 4% or up to $3,200 on their transactions. And, and those are 298 agents that I have in that level two category throughout 15 countries of people that never met me that would have never signed up to me because they had a trust and respect for another agent that I knew. It's a compounding effect, okay? And that goes down and down and down and down. So the 54 agents that I brought over has turned into over 2,100 agents and I get a little portion of the commission on every single agent that closes a transaction and not at the agent's expense at the benefit of having a lean, smart real estate model. And this is available to everybody. So I know what some of you guys are saying. Oh, I don't like this residual income layered thing. It feels like an MLM. And what I'm saying to you is, okay, you don't like it being shared like a co-op. Let's look at the alternative, which is where you're at right now, is that you're building someone else's asset. You have no equity stake in the company. You could be their top re re uh, producer forever, but you're going to leave escorted to your parking lot so you don't tell anybody in the office that you're leaving. And then at the end of your production, you're going to go into retirement with what you saved in Social Security. That's, that's the truth, right? Here at EXP, unlike Nike, where you have 10 board members that are making billions of dollars, but the people that are making the shoes are making 30 bucks an hour, EXP said, we're done with that. It's the people that want to grow their brokerages that will increase the agent count at EXP that deserve the money. So we're going to provide an ability for them to retrieve it by making our model stream, by making it competitive, and allowing them to be broker owners and not employee-minded. And that's how we have grown. And here's the proof. We are the fastest growing real estate company that's ever existed. It took Caldwell Banker 68 years to hit 10,000 agents. It took Keller Williams, which has a watered down version of this called profit share, uh, which is a number that you don't see that's not transparent. If there's profit, totally different. This is based on gross revenue. Okay. So the, Keller Williams, it took them 18 years to hit 10,000 agents. We hit it in eight. This company is going to be at 500,000 agents in the next four years. And they're going to sign up under somebody. So if you're, Somebody that has had a Zig Ziglar like mindset where, you know, I'm going to give everybody else what they need and in turn, all, the world will give me what I need. That's pretty much just a nice way of saying revenue share. This is how we get compensated. Now, the company would go out of business if there wasn't one last sentence here. Okay. So I want you guys to uh, totally understand what this looks like. Now, if I brought over an agent that's talented, like I'll use Nakia as an example again, right? Nakia. Lots of people look to Nikia, right? So if Nikia brings over 5,000 agents, could the company stay in business? If I just got lucky, I brought over one agent, Nikia, and she brought over 5,000. They can't afford to pay me all of this. We would go belly up. And that's what happened to Keller Williams. So they had to turn it from revenue share into profit share because they couldn't work around it because they had all of these franchise uh, 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 rules and confinements. Right, all of these market centers, all of these team leaders, all of these salaries, all of these big fancy offices. Right, they had all of that stuff. That's why they have to charge for training. That's why they they it's a it's a different kind of company. Here at EXP, they said, listen, if you bring over five agents directly, we're going to pay you four percent on all the agents they bring over versus just this expansion share of 02 percent. And if you bring over ten agents directly 10 level ones we're going to then unlock all the money in level three from 0.1 percent to make that all together 2.5 percent and that is how we grow so i brought over 54 agents so i have unlocked all seven compounding abilities to collect commission on my organization and that is how you go from having a brokerage that's 25 agents or 100 agents or a team that's two agents like i did to building an empire that is adding 70 to 80 agents a month throughout 15 countries. I'm the most diversified team leader you guys are ever going to meet in your life. And it's not because I'm a genius. It's just because I'm here at eXp and that's how the platform teaches us how to think. So that's it guys. Like you guys did really good. 1051. My, I didn't do so good. I went long. So that is eXp in a nutshell. That is what we do. We do lane one, we do lane two, and we do lane three. And we do it better and different than everyone else. And it's not a linear model. There's no comparison to EXP to any of the companies you've ever heard. We are not linear. We are agent owned. We are virtual. You can earn your commissions all the way back here. We have healthcare. We have lead generation. We are plug and play. We are the biggest technology disruptor ever to exist in this space. 
And more importantly, you have the ability to take the relationships and the influence that you have, and you could go out there and build a residual income, albeit a team or an organization, or you could not. So right now, the average EXP agent brings over about one agent per year. And that is essentially how we've been doubling every year. So if anyone has any questions whatsoever, I can get into the granular stuff for the next seven minutes. Uh, so unmute if you have any questions and I will explain uh, away on whatever I didn't cover already. Rich. Joseph. Thank you for um, hosting this session for, for this morning. Um, cool. Yeah, it was very Pleasure. helpful. I, I was I joined in a little late this morning. I had I had technical difficulties um, with the pass with the meeting passcode. I, I kept getting the meeting passcode wrong, so I was I was like maybe fifteen minutes late to, to today's session. It's okay, buddy. So um, real, real quick before you ask the question, capital E X P every week, same link. Go ahead, bud. Got it. My question is: I have a lot of uh, referrals and co colleagues, cohorts of mine that yeah. are contemplating joining EXP, okay. how would I be best able to have them on board under my team yes. within, within the alliance movement that we're currently okay. projecting? Good question. So listen, a lot of you guys don't want to learn a whole new job, which is how to grow your brokerage because you're selling houses. That's what you signed up for, right? So we make it super simple. In, uh, we have a flyer that invites people to this meeting that we post on EXP Family Tree and Workplace. So if you're not with EXP, whoever's inviting you on this call can just share that with you. And then you can listen to this live. And then we do third-party calls to answer specifics and kind of tailor the suit to, to your business, right? Now, in addition, if people are too busy to do critical thinking, which is most of us, especially top producers, they're always too busy to do everything. And I'm like, well, you're too busy to have a whole life. You'll be saying this in 20 years. You'll actually be saying this is much worse in 20 years, right? So for those folks, which we understand who you guys are, and we're not mad at you, we suffer from the same thing. We actually record these things, and Nakia Evans on our YouTube channel, subscribe to her channel because it'll alert you. Uh, you'll have this session that we just talked about, and you can share it through video. Now, we also created a thing called I Decide, where we can share it with you with an interactive presentation that I will be posting all over the place as we get uh, uh, it finalized. But the most important part is, is let me join you on the call. I'm going to be your lifelong, uh, 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 you know, pretty much partner, free partner. And uh, if if you see value in here and you want to join, you join with me. But you, we can lean on Rich's presentation because he's part of our support system. Absolutely. You so you just you just kind of uh, set the expectation. Got it. Okay. It's, it's we'll easy. Do. Okay. Good seeing you here, Bill. Thanks for showing up. Uh, awesome. All right. Um, how's everybody else doing? 